Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Now in this video, well, I'm playing some more West of Lothian. Now last time I really enjoyed this game. Um, it was just a really good, fun game in general, and today I'm going to be playing again. So last time, that was a short video, I accidentally left it off, but um, I just, I didn't really play it too much after that, I just got the Dark Horse. So in the last video, we collected all these horses. So this is the most typical horse you've ever seen. This horse seems uncomfortable when you look directly at her. You behold a pale horse like absurdly pale. This horse has made the look of someone who has seen the madness that dances on the other side of the void. Yeah, that, that horse is a crazy one, but um, I'm going to buy a horse today. So, after the insert, can you sell me a horse? Sure thing, I should warn you though. Um, wait, afternoon sir, what can I do for you? Can you sell me a horse? Sure thing, I should warn you though. Horses get mightily attached to the riders. Once you bought one, you won't be able to change your mind later. <laughs> Which one are you interested in? Oh, we're definitely not taking the basic model. So, the shifty looking dark one, the spooky pale one, or the crazy eyes. Oh, let me just tell you right now, I really, really like the ghost horse, so I think we're gonna go with the spooky one. Yeah, let's get the spooky one. Good choice, that's a good horse. If you like that sort of thing, I'll sell her for a thousand meat. I'll take her. There's the ride, all right. Let's give her a name. So, ghost, I'm thinking for a gale horse, or, um, I think it's probably, it's a she, since it even says Tina. So, how about a ghost, maybe, maybe, or maybe it could be, so like pale, but like a word that rhymes with pale that's named like, rail, gale, gale, ooh, male, I think Gale. It might be a boy, but Gale. Alright, we got Gale. Are you sure you want to name your horse Gale? Yep. Right then, Gale the horse. It's got a nice ring to it. Yeah. What else we forgot? Free with every horse purchase is a complimentary map. Oh! Southeast West map. Thank you. So now if we go to... Oh. Okay. But now we got a horse, right? It's real horse. Oh, we can ride around a town. Once you leave Boring Springs, you won't be able to come back. Hold on. I don't want to leave just yet. So we can leave this town, which, to be honest, it's not the best town in the world. So, yep, braids through the game. So, I'll trade this soap. And the sheriff needed a thing. So, where do I get soap? I, think about, I remember the Fricker Gang's hideout. There was a bathtub there, and like, wasn't the guy's name Soapy or something? Well, it looks like they're gone. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know how to get soap. Um. I guess we're gonna have to leave. Well, let's go back to the town of Born Springs and what's new in my inventory? Wow, we have a lot of things. How do we... Um, just sell it. Okay, how do I sell it? Is there a place where I can sell things? I'm sure like, if you're the trade guy, like I could sell it to the trade man. Howdy, um... Take some dynamite. Ooh. No, I want to keep my needle. I haven't needed to do dynamite yet, and I think a needle might be important, so I think we should just go, yeah. Let's just, uh. Ooh, earlier about it. Interesting. Yeah, I busted my knee while mucking out the showroom. Don't ask how it's embarrassing. I was going to get Doc Alice to have a look at it, but she gave up doctoring. Oh, yeah, we saw that. It was closed. Um, why'd she do that? Nobody knows. She just shut herself up in the office. 
She said she wouldn't talk to anyone except Nurse Whiskey. We have that, right? Is it actually a nurse or I'm pretty sure she was just being sarcastic. So could we give her the whiskey then? Because she, oh jeez. <laughs> I ran into a cactus. Oh wow. Okay. Alice? We can offer whiskey now. Sweet. Whiskey delivery for you, Doc. Oh Graham. Nurse whiskey. <laughs> Your favorite I'm allowed to believe? Didn't know she makes house calls. Alright, hold on. You hear a rattle as she unlocks the door. Alright. Well, we're actually in her house. Cool, so the stove is spotless. Either she's really compulsive about cleaning or she never cooks. Hey Doc, can I look at your boots? Okay, okay, fine. So I can look. Clean a little. Ooh! You grab a pair of tweezers and pluck some of your more unsightly eyebrows. You gave my XP. Progress. So 5 out of 10. Cool. And then there's a bed. Wow, shouldn't this be further away from the fireplace? Yeah. <laughs> this stove. So let's give her whiskey then. Can we look at her book? Alright, let's give it to her. She cracks open the whiskey and fills a small glass she takes out of her pocket. Then she puts the flask back in her pocket and starts chugging her this bottle. She's like, that doesn't seem healthy. <laughs> Who's the doctor here? Me or you? Okay. Doesn't look like anymore. Doc, can I look at your book? Sure, if you want to. Not that they're gonna do you much good in the doom forsaken hellhole. <laughs> you should try being less cheerful, Doc. Alright, let's check out the books. On their own medical textbooks, they spent for a few. We for The Legend of Curly's Meat, The Life. What? Okay. And is everything alright? Oh, continue to pour whiskey down her neck, occasionally stopping to breathe teas. Um, is everything, is everything alright? <laughs> that depends on how fast I can get this whiskey into my bloodstream compared to how fast my liver filters it out. And I can't talk and drink at the same time, so, she hears So, uh, what's, what's the matter, Doc? What's the matter? The whole world's gonna hell in a horse cart. And, and you ask what's the matter? Bandits count even dead men, dead, dead men walking? What? Zombies? No. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and pick up? I'll drink to that. Yeah, Dead Men Walking? You haven't seen it? Corpses of Skull. Oh, yeah, we did see that with the ghost horse. <laughs> Staggering out like puppets with their half strings cut, looking to take a bite out of the living. <laughs> oh, yeah. There was a skeleton in the cemetery. It's nice to get some outside confirmation that I'm not losing my damn mind. <laughs> How is that even possible? It is impossible. It goes against everything I know about medicine. Dead patients don't get that up. Patients, oh, uh, oh. Doc Ellis turns away from the scene. Every doctor loses one now and again. You never get used to it, but well, it happens. But what doesn't happen is them coming back afterward and looking for it. And, oh, that must be pretty rough. Rough, buddy. I don't think you comprehend the situation. It's not just patients. It's neighbor's friend's husband. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, um, indeed. Turns away from you and focuses her attention back on the bottle. Hmm, okay. What now? Oh, what's the deal with all the TNT? Um, it's so when I feel like I'm about to go, I can blow myself into bed so small that there won't be a lot of enough to come back. That seems drastic. Drastic, hell, no way I am taking the risk of becoming one of those things. Fair enough, I suppose. And then... Do you have any idea what's causing the resurrection? Well, I heard a rumor. A rumor what it is when you get incomplete information from an unverified source. Or, anyway, I, what I heard is there's a fellow out there causing a, a necromancer, they call him. Supposedly he's spending magic into the world somehow. Magic like the bean slingers use? I've never heard of a, any bean slinger raising the dead. Have you ever scowled deep in? There'd be one hell of a can of beans. <laughs> I was literally just thinking about that. Well, medical. Leap through. The book tells the story of a legendary treasure, a massive chest full of premium meat. Secreted in the hidden sense, not in the extruded sense, in the western desert by an old cow hand named Curly Butterfield. <laughs> Jeez, and then leap through the life and works of Fred Ferguson. Sure. Book. Oh, we actually got skill. This book prepares a Civil War surgeon's autobiography. But flipping through, if you mostly find this list of reasons that drinking alcohol is bad, so it's actually work a Ludwig's 
At least there's some useful appendix in the back and some diagrams of appendix. Okay, I'm gonna move through that. Ooh! You start flipping through the goblin language book. Ooh, it's confusing at first, but you eventually get so engrossed that by the time you take a break from reading, several blurbs have passed. And you know that blurb is the goblin word for hour. You learn to speak goblin, sort of. Oh! Goblin tongue, that might be good. And then let's make, all right, sweet. Can I take this TNT? All right, bye-bye. Thank you for all your things. So, we're doing good. I think we should just get out of here. Ride Gale out of town, yep. Yes. Alrighty then. You're probably worse than ready to start your new life in the West. All you need is a partner, somebody to share the trail with, somebody you can ride on for emotional combat support. Who will you take with you? Crazy Pete or Susie Cochran? Ooh, go it alone. No, I'm not going alone. Uh, this should be an easy choice. Of course we're going to take Susie. I don't want Crazy Pete with me. Um, yeah, we're going to take Susie. Pop back into the zoo and collect Susie. All right, let's go. Until, um, up until this point, I've been automatically spending your experience points for you. I'm happy to keep doing it, and I promise to give you a nice, well-rounded experience. So I keep it up for what you decide before... Um, let's keep spending. Ready then, let's go. Yeah, so we can change that. Ooh, you can sort the southeast mess the hostel gave you. It's only less two things. The town of Dirtwater and the rail manifest destiny railroad company, westernmost camp. Ooh, um, okay. So the town of Dirtwater, the manifest destiny railroad camp. All right, we're at Dirtwater. Oh, wow, whoa, there's our ghost horse. Look at it. Out of the way, buddy. Okay, geez. people don't look too happy. At least this town looks better. What, Susie? You want? Uh, I think I left Evan on. It uses real fire. Oh, that was a rough duel. Hope I didn't kill that guy. It's your partner. Let's talk. So. What's new, Susie? I'd like to check up on some of the ranches in these parts, see how bad the cow attacks were good. All right, do you know some? Not very detailed, but I know roughly where a few are, or at least were. Guess we'll just have to see. There's one not far from here. All right, the Stern Ranch. What, what do you think we should do next, Susie? Hmm, if we were looking to get a move on westward, I reckon the train is the way to go. Doing the map give you the hostler gave you a marker for some railroad camp? Might be good. Good idea. Alright, um, I'm gonna explore this town before. Your saloon. And rest in the conversation, let it be. Okay. Now, does it seem like she's in the mood to talk? Oh! Well, howdy there. Always nice to see a new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. Ah, thanks. I'm Stan. Glad to know you, Stan. Folks around here just call me Lloyd. What can I do for you? Nice to meet you, Lloyd. Um. I saw the sign out advertising room. You need help with anything? Let's first ask him. Well, if you're handy with mechanical type stuff, something's gone wrong with our player piano player. I thought the music. Yeah, it's supposed to, not supposed. To. Oh yeah. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. I've poked around in him myself, but I've lost the key. Okay. The piano player. Uh, Spittoon. Oh, geez, another spittoon. Which is a sort of brass bucket that people spit into instead of spinning on the floor. Because not spinning at all is not an option in society, I guess. I say this to bite knowing that you're pretty unfamiliar with spittoon already, sicko. Let's inspect it. Look, the jewel saloon is pr nice as saloon goes. Actual glass in the window, more than two kinds of drinks, a poker room instead of a cock fighting pit, but this spittoon is still a piss spittoon. Rancid tobacco spit. It isn't fancy rancid tobacco spit. <laughs> Let's inspect it. Uh, here we go again. All right. Fine. You're now hunkered down next to the brass fill bucket, which has probably never been cleaned or emptied because you're near the desert. Emptied humanity around here pretty low, low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quickly as it humanoids. So that's good, right? No, that's bad because it's only the water part of the spit that evaporates. This brass bucket is half full of the rest of the spit. The toxins and filth that don't evaporate several years were ill. It's distilled in concrete until it's the consistency of molasses. People aren't allowed to flick cigarette butts into the spoon anymore because they're bound to. <laughs> oh. 
search it. You're about to put your hand into a bucket of something in the color of, this, uh, of maple syrup, except instead it's maple. It's flavored of which the inside of the mouse people who chew cigars instead of smoking them and never brush their teeth. Yeah. Warm. It feels like putting your hand into a bucket of lukewarm paprika pudding, except it's said a back away. Yeah. Tap tapioca tapioca it's basically poison it smells like someone ran over a stung waited a week and then set it on fire it feels like your hand is dissolving keep searching <laughs> we found something oh you found something you found a tacky felt colored porcelain cow figurine a useless disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom for your children assuming they're still able to have any and you hate them <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, ooh. There's some poker in Hello, boys. Should they show up? Some keep seeing at this table while you die. No room at this table. Should I play? Let's play poker. You sit down at the poker room. A dealer emerges from somewhere in the back and sits down next to you. The lady to the right introduces herself as Mary, and the player to the life says her name is Clint. The dealer says that the ant is 20 meters. All right, let's end up. House 28 Mansion. The dealer gives up a shuffle and then deals. A hand of hearts. It's totally garbage hand. Four suicide. Four suicide. Jack of hearts. It's the first round. Pot is sixty. Million, and you estimate your chances of winning this round. Let's multiply the strategy. The dealer gives the deck of, and then deals. A hand of cards glides across the table to you. It's totally garbage hand. Four suicide. Jack of. Oh no! You cock your head at a giant. Twenty percent witch hand. Sweet. It's sixty meat. So, forcefully. Let's check. You check five percent sweet. Six thousand rays. Let's call. Then let's you two or ten. The pot is twenty p and you estimate around thirty-five percent. Cleverly. Yes. Cut. Oh! You grin and reveal your hands as straight. Mary grumbles and turns over straight. Clint hovers a full horse. You win! A hundred beats sweet! Alright, that's a win. There we go. An inventory. Sweet. So I three. Sweet. This is really nice. Hello. Old man stares off, listening to the piano. He doesn't react to you at all. Try to fix him. Pick the lock. Oh, we can pick the lock. You fix the lock, open the hatch, and check the machinery inside. There's obviously something wrong, given all the thinking. Five mysticality. How do you get that? <laughs> These guys are having a spirited... Wait a minute. Can I get in my inventory? Can't you, um... Get the briefcase full of steaks? some stuff. How do we gain mysticality? So this guy's a robot about guns and which of theirs is nicer. No, I'm not gonna buy some slop. I mean, that doesn't mean I'll eat it, right? A plate of slop. Yeah, we might need that for something if we need to feed. See some bartender for darts. Let's go to the kitchen. Ooh, this little kitchen. This is where... The chef's prep ingredients for cooking. It's also where he powers his beer. <laughs> I bought this pot belly stove in the pot full of slop. Ooh. Okay. Hey, what are you doing in here? Employees body. Oh, sorry. I was just, you know, looking around. So you're the nosy type, eh? I prefer adventure slop. As it happens, there's something you can name for me. I'm at a salt pepper and I need you to pick up salt pepper. Salt pepper. Isn't that used to make gunpowder? And other things. Look, who's the chef here? Me or you? <laughs> okay. Okay, where can I find it? Your best uh, bet's a knowledge here, Tim. Because it used to make gunpowder? Shut up! <laughs> Here's one that's for cowardice. They keep it in little green jars. Alright. Too busy. Well, what's in the stage? There must be a reason, right? Something will happen, surely, right? Come on, 15 more seconds. So this is what I'm doing.
Okay, I think that's useless. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet! We actually get an XP! Okay, cool. So is that all that's in the slim? Yeah. I just must have fallen asleep doing your mouth. Um, hold on. If I, can I go back into my inventory? Can you eat some? No, escape. Can you eat something that'll, uh... For a long time, and somebody's mouth for a very short time. Can I eat? I have a thing of sloth, right? Jewel. Tality depends how much damage your magical attacks do. Damage, for example, if you spell. Mysticality. How do you get it though? Okay, let's go into the guest rooms. There's nothing of interest to you upstairs. Can I talk to you a little more? Hey, Lloyd. Um. Uh, I saw the sign. Oh, who's that old man? Oh, that's an old elderly, the attractive fella he is. He was a writer and a poet. Came along the west to sell his stories, but nobody will lie. I'm too weird. His story is fantastic. Really. Too bad, I love that stuff. Well, doesn't matter how much. Anyway, he had to get normal work to make ends meet. They passed him well as a prospector until one day he lost his mind in the mind. <laughs> what? You mean his mind in a mine? He what now? He what? Oh, he what now? You know what I mean. He saw something. Something that made him stop telling his weird tales. Made him stop talking near completely. Come to that, he just stands there by the piano nowadays. It seems to calm him down, such as long as he doesn't make any trouble. I don't mind him too much. Feel a little sorry for him, to be honest. Poor fellow. I saw the sun. Ooh. So, can I get some work? Said, um, hmm. The sign of dark words said to see you. Oh, sorry. All the dark took. Oh, that's disappointing. Um, I love a shot. Right up. Hmm. Um, I saw the front advice of the poop. That's right, fattest room in the house and plenty of room for your partner too. You interested? How much does it cost? Well, that's where in your luck. The previous tenant was a banker fellow and he paid a month in advance, right? Before getting himself killed by bandits. You seem like a decent person of the rooms if you want it. Wow, great! It's amazing, thank you. So now if I look at my inventory, I have Oh, it's just the same thing as the plate of slot. Okay, can we go in here now? Yes, we can. Ooh. Don't tell yourself again. There's a seriously bed cool. Some nice view from a period. Oh yeah, that's cool. Okay, good. There's a little postcard. A blank postcard. Cool. Let's sleep. You dream. Wake up screaming. Okay then. You wake, free fresh and short, and hungry and sobbed. What's mosey? What does that mean? Day two, the second day of the rest of your life. Okay, cool. We slept. Play. Oh, okay, cool. So let's call her name. She needs a whisper. Let's leave her alone. Okay, we need her. Sweet. So there, hello. What's up, everyone? So now, Mercenty. Oh, hello there. So, Sturdy for Vans. Vicious Groceries. So, Tommy Stees. Miscellaneous Provender. Oh, okay. This is where we sell stuff. Oh. This is an old back issue of the popular machine. Teddy Crackers. Speed. Ooh, increase it. Oh, I need this for sure. I'm putting... Yes! We do these two. Now, inventory. So we have three mysticality. So if we plum pudding, four, and tooth powder, let's... Sweet, we can find mysticality now. Yes. Let's go in here now. Sweet. So much 
There we go, you recobbled some springs and rearranged some gears, and the machiner decided the music would produce immediately. Sweet! So now I'm gonna go to my inventory. We still have five of this to gather. Oh, it doesn't use it? That's sweet. How do you stand anything? Hey, Lloyd, um, I fixed the piano player for you. I thought so. Thanks to heap stand, I'd offer a free room, but you already got one. Sweet. 20 XP, no worries. Shot. I'll see you later, Lloyd. Thank you. Alright, 20 XP. That's nice. Water of ice? Um, no, there's fang. Fang. Hello. Hmm. Hi, I'm Stan McKee. Any mail for me? Mm, no. Darn. Well, oh! I'd like to send a postcard. Alright, Lynn. You write a quick note letting you know if you've been up to. That'll be. Oh. It's one of prepaid ones. It'll be zero meat then. Thanks. What do? Ooh, holy flowers. Find one. Thank you, mister. Yeah. Sweet smell of flowers. The clerk clears her flow. How are you? Are you the sheriff here? No, we currently don't have a sheriff. I could offer to be the sheriff. Do you have a enforcement experience? Uh, have you ever been sheriff in the Do you have a... No. I just assume. Uh, well, if it's that way, if you had five meat for every wide eye per town, this looking kid who wanders in here thinking of the most important ten foot to save your stop on iron, I would need to end this darn foot. Sorry, oh, it's okay, like I said. Offer to help me and then, sure, if you're good with the gun, there's always something here in need of justice. One of posters are back there. Oh, uh, what a poster. Okay, hold on. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is way better than the uh, sheriff's office. Oh, it's ghosty. Ooh. Is that good that we got the ghost horse then? Alright. So, read it. It says, Wanted house in the desert gang. Um, for more to payment, general, super murdering murder, and two plus, plus. Ooh, hmm. You wonder if the house is named after them. 500 meat, I could really use that. Yeah, sure, the house in the desert. So let's go, let's go do that. I think we should go on that. Ooh, a lot of ammo. Vacant lot, a vacant lot, a vacant lot, a vacant lot, a vacant lot, cook it. You saw on the side, there's nothing back here. All right, let's just go to the map. So let's go to the desert house. Which way, ooh. As you pass for a folding school. Alright, sweet. So let's go to the desert house. As you approach the house where the bandits are holed up, hear a voice from inside say, What was that? Uh oh. It looks like you're gonna have to be sneaky if you want to avoid a fool in Francis. Sneaky is my middle name. Wait, really? Yeah, sneaky. Is you? Yeah. Okay. Um, Stan Sneaky. McCheese. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, yep. We can get so far. Uh, from the sound of it, you say this dog house contains an angry dog. Okay, weigh your options. Okay, let's bring him on. Oh! Shoot. So, 22, 19. 19, 9 to 10. 9 to 10, um, let's shoot him, see, ooh, 10 damage, sweet, alright, we got one, yes, please review a good team, ooh, this guy needs to go now, hey, holy flip, okay, I'm gonna shoot you, shoot, Oh. Hey, no, it's uh, shoot you. Boom, there we go, sweet. And then shoot you. Good. Okay, okay, now I'm gonna shoot you again. And then Susie, finish it off. There we go, nice, sweet. Um, ooh, serve the old cow skin. Yeah, I'll scale up muscle too. Bag of ears and so, ew. <laughs> this is saying, sweet, hooray. So we got him. That's good, so let's go in the house now. Uh, 
Oh, we can actually go in. Okay, then. Um, the dog had wandered off in some search of better masters. Yeah. Alright. So, let's just go now. Let's go, Gail. Um, while we're out here, we might as well just go to Stairs Ranch. You find a pair of binoculars hanging on past the cactus. I mean, a cactus. Not a cactus. Pair of her Yes, let's grab them. Smells so sweet. That would have cost them 200 meat, but I got them. That's nice. A needle. Oh, 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 man, this is amazing. This is good. The button cactus. How do I get forage in? Search them. Found it. Search them. Share locket. Ooh, cool. Cool. Um, take it. Smoke and choose them. Okay, cool. What's in here? Uh, between the smoke and the noise, you're guessing that the contents um, of this outhouse are more dangerous than I ever doubt. Let's open it. Come on. What's in here? Ooh. Okay. Uh, cool. Cow, of course. Um, let's shoot. Shoot. Cool. Oh, that's not good. You can just die. Sweet. Victory. Nice. Yeah. Ma Skill Moxie level 4. Sweet. By the soft light of the fading numbers, you see a glint of light below. You hold your nose with one hand as you fish out of the ties with the other. A toilet pistol? Really? Kelly flashes in her eyes. He revolves. Susie has become stronger. Way to go. Sweet. Good job, Susie. It's a great open up. Oh, lock. The past ranger candy. Sweet. Yo, we're getting a lot of stuff. Uh, space is scorched, but it contains are probably still safe. Uh, I don't have safe cracking. Grab it. Oh, sweet. Instant grants sepalier and cloak dust. This weird cow shaped stain on the wall. Weird. <coughs> Can we go? No. Can we go in the house? Yes, we can. Ooh. Alright. Grab them, black and beans, sweet. Pick the lock. Stock certificate. Cool, I have a needle, so that's nice. Wait, in my inventory, how many needles do I have? Oh, I have two. Okay. Um, ooh, a bird, but you notice something strange. Ooh! Or a hidden catch in the back panel. There's a book inside, Mary Stevens Diary, cool. Um, creepy bird porcelain nut. Let's talk to it. The mono work fix the doll's voice box. Pull the string. Uh, you pull the string, the dog has rolled back into its head and the mouse begins to move. Uh, hi, I'm Grace, what's your name? I'm Stan. Hi, Stan, you're nice. Do you want to play with me? Uh, sure. Hooray, right, Mary used to play with me, but we didn't get to finish our tea party before she went away. Will you help me finish it? You're a creepy doll, aren't you? Surely. Hooray, the game is over for her. Mary did such a good job. Dolls always roll back for me. Go downstairs and get my cup. Do you know the magic word to make a mean cow let you in this with your No. Magic word is peanut butter. Okay. You should have realized talking realize talking hasn't been evolved yet. Uh, yeah, that's a little creepy. We've got a ton of stuff. Look at this. And, oh, I wanted to see, so... Six to seven. Four to five. Seven. Oh. Sweet. There we go. Desert skin is six gun. That's nice. Okay. So the mean cow, I'm guessing, means this. Oh. Wait. Whisper to the cover. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay. So we can decide. Or destroy the goblet. I think we should destroy it. You don't know what this is, but you know it's abominable. <laughs> you grab them and smash it along the altar. Every where the blood lands, cracks appear. The altar groans and it crumbles in ruins. Okay, yeah, I think that was the right decision. I don't really want to play with the doll right now. Oh, wishboards. Cool. Um, sweet. So. Is that all for us to do here? Um, wait, in my inventory, so we got a diary, didn't we? Uh, Mary Steen's diary. Here, I'll read it. 
Jeez, the first page says in the little girls. This is the diary of Mary Stearns. The A and the diary are crossed out and the A above it. So, uh, the A in the dairy. <laughs> the A and I says. And A and I and above it. Uh, the diary starts out as good little kid stuff. You flip ahead and though you notice the rating gets shaky. You found a doll. Dolly under a cactus held back, and she told her name was Grace. Mom and Papa don't believe that she talks. They say I got a big imagination. Grace said the cows were going to get us, but Papa says we'll be okay. Says this were never a cow game. Grace says he's wrong, but Papa won't believe me. Grace says we can keep the cows away, but I have to play a tea party with her. All right. I don't like this kind of tea party, but Grace says it's important to keep the cows away. Mama said that we couldn't find Eve, Papa, and she's been too long for long. They should put a cross up, but Mama won't let it because she thinks. She'll come back. Papa says she's only 11. How far? How should we have come? And Mama started trying to get, don't want to play tea party anymore, but Grace says they have to. Papa, no, I didn't, okay. Yeah, that daughter, doll is definitely haunted. Um, so, huh? Another range girl died of freaking cows. Damn, that's even me something fierce. Um, I guess we should check for survivors. Yeah, but we're not. Am I forgetting about anything? Susie says you should get the salt pepper from Fort Cowderless. Thanks for the reminder. Yes, we should do that in the next episode, guys. Yes. I'm sorry, but I think that I'm going to. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Um, thank you. Uh, I really love this game. This game is really fun. I love West of Lothian, so I think that's where we're going to end the video with Stan McCheese. I hope you guys like this. So anyway, everyone, goodbye.